With the drop of Lightfall and the drop of a new season comes a new season exotic, that being Vex Caliber, the giant blue thingy protruding from my back. This thing's pretty sick, allowing you to be your own Vex Chicken with a Void Overshield. Vex Caliber is coming in stock with Ballistic Tuning, Extended Mag, maxing out at 6, Perpetual Loophole, and Hand Laid Stock, as well as the Intrinsic Trait, M1R Distribution Matrix. This weapon fires a spread, is equipped with a quick draining shield, and blocking damage with your shield gradually bestows void overshields to yourself and nearby allies. You can also proc this 8 second void overshield by killing enemies while ADSing. So if you want to get your grubby little mitts on this thing, stay tuned. Buckle up because we're headed to the EDZ. Quick spawn at the gulch and then immediately veer off to the left. Get on top of the outcropping where all the cool kids hang out. There you should see some sort of fallen box with two antennas. Between those two antennas should be a Vex cube conflux. There's six total cubes in the area. He has 30 seconds in between each cube to get the next, which is plenty of time so you shouldn't get held up here. Once you collect all the cubes, it will give you a location which happens to be the entrance of a cave near where you spawned in and straight ahead of where the last cube is located. Head in and snag the region chest if you haven't already, then go further until you meet a happy harpy where you can now launch the exotic mission from. Through dialogue with Mithrax, you just have to navigate your way around the Vex network with a few enemies to deal with, so it's a pretty relaxing ride. On a difficulty level, I'd say it was harder than Season 19's exotic mission, but it's pretty doable solo, just takes a lot of time. If you want to make your life a little easier, I'd recommend a cracked out Void build due to the only seeing Void shields, and the Season Artifact seems to be favoring Void, with its orbs of power granting volatile rounds to Void Guns perk which is really really valuable. I use my Strand subclass though, as God intended, in Quicksilver with an SMG and a grenade launcher. That grenade launcher turned into an LMG halfway through though, but I fared just fine. Strand was pretty good for ad clears and Quicksilver's grenade function, Made quick work of several cyclopses and chickens throughout the mission without wasting any of my heavy. As for my heavy, I had that grenade launcher and that LMG, but I guess you could really use whatever you wanted as long as it can cover some ground. In the latter half of the mission, you have some pretty long range boss engagements that can be an issue if you have something that's only good close range. You'll eventually find yourself getting teleported into the variant security protocol where you'll be encountering your first puzzle of sorts. Once you make your way into the open, you'll get your first banner zone and the introduction of the puzzle mechanics begin. It's a pretty simple system, all you have to do is clear ads and input access codes. It requires three rounds of inputs, round one with a sequence of three, round two with a sequence of four, and the final round with a sequence of five. You'll be given the option between a square, triangle, and diamond conflux to shoot around a pillar in the middle of the arena. These confluxes will be flashing very, very slowly on a sort of 5 seconds on, 10 seconds off, in different orders, heights, and arrangements. You'll find the order for each round in their respective positions. Round 1 here, round 2 here, and round 3 here. Once you have the order of the confluxes that you should be shooting, whether it's 3, 4, or 5, wait for them to show up, shoot them, and then wait for them to show up again, and shoot them again, so on and so forth. If you mess up the order that you see, it will give you a new sequence, so make sure you double check. Once you've successfully input one code though, that round is done. If you're on the second round, mess it up, all you have to do is reset that second round.
After three successful inputs, you'll move on to the next room where you do the exact same thing. The code locations are in different spots, obviously, and the add density is substantially higher as well as the add difficulty. A lot of yellow bar minotaurs with void shields and I think a chicken or two. I can't really remember. It's certainly important to make sure that you clear as many ads as you can while you're still inputting access codes, but to be honest, I think ad clear is one of the least important things because the ads are going to keep coming regardless until you have all the codes put in. So the quicker you get that done, the quicker the encounter is over. You kind of have to ride that fine line between minimal ad clear for maximum access input. After that room of access code inputs is complete, you'll make your way onto the bridge, kill more ads, and at least two more chickens. Make your way past all that and you'll get onto an ominous bridge where you see a man floating in the air who quickly disappears. You'll make your way up with Mithrax talking in your ear, you'll kill all the adds, and then kill a few minotaurs as well. Don't go to the right where you see the goblins spawn on a ledge, climb up those ledges, and then whip yourself over the top thinking that's where you need to go. You'll just reset yourself and end up having to backtrack because it'll put you down right where you came from. After you kill the minotaurs, just keep heading straight towards the diamond. It's near the top, there's a small opening that you have to weasel your way through. The little next phase had me feeling like I was back on Venus trying to get Whisper the Worm. You'll find yourself hopping and skipping down platforms and entering a small space where if you make a wrong step, you'll get booted into oblivion. So just make sure you take your time and act accordingly. After making it past that, you'll come to your second banner zone and you'll be entering the arena for the first boss fight. In the boss fight, the explanation is a lot easier than the execution. The whole idea of these rounds is to collect data, deposit them into a terminal, open the hole, hide in the hole, and reset the explosion so it doesn't kill you. If you don't collect enough data, and you don't deposit it into the terminal, and you don't hide in the hole, the explosion will go off and you will reset. All the ads drop data. When you kill them, they're purple, they're beautiful, you can't miss them separated into two rounds of data gathering, a phase of boss damage, 
another two rounds of data gathering, and a last phase of boss damage. During the first round, you're gonna collect eight, deposit it, hide. Second round is 10. Then you have your boss damage phase. It's gonna be about a third of the boss's health, so go buck wild and get it over with. During the third round of data collection, it's gonna be 10, and during the fourth round, it's 12. During the last phase of boss damage, it's two thirds of the boss's health, but there's no immunity in between anything, so make sure you also let loose, empty your super, your heavy, and everything you have. The sooner he dies, the sooner you're done. I came to the conclusion that the best spot to farm is the front right. You can hide behind a wall, sorta, and basically funnel all the enemies into a straight line and just tear them apart, get your moats or your data, and then deposit them. I did run into one issue though, where after my first damage phase on the boss, things kind of bugged out. My data collection round three never really started, and then before I knew it, I had 10 seconds left and no data was dropping, and then I just kind of died. If this happens to you, I'm really sorry. I have no idea what happened, and no, I can't fix it. After you've left loose and you've killed the boss, you'll be able to continue. Continue up to the platform where he spawned originally, You'll have some dialogue from Mithrax, and then you'll continue almost to Vex Calibur. You'll have to keep hopping and skipping your way through the variant security protocol, seeing random men that disappear into the walls, but eventually you'll find yourself go through a portal and you'll be in a grab lift headed down through reroute dispatch. You'll go through three different levels, which are the three phases of the last boss fight that you're about to begin. As you get down to where the first phase takes place, some of you veteran Destiny players might realize where we are and who we're fighting as the round starts up, Brachion the bitch decides to be repurposed and now he shows his ugly little hobgoblin head and he's not quite as bad actually as he was because he was pretty annoying. The first phase was on a pretty big arena, so Strand made it very easy to navigate, and typically they only had one or two pools of spawning for the adds. About two yellow bar minotaurs and a chicken, the rest were all goblins, so I definitely recommend using your primary for all the goblins and the minotaurs, and I used my quicksilver grenade function for the chickens. During the downtime between ad spawns, I would just unload on Brachion with my assault rifle. This is where I started to kind of doubt my power weapon selection and switched over to an LMG because it made it a lot easier to do some DPS because my grenade launcher didn't quite make the reach and Quicksilver wasn't great at super far range. After you deplete the first third of Brachion's health, he'll despawn, go to the second floor, and you'll follow him through a Vex gate at the back of the arena. Once you get up there, the second phase will start. Brachion will hide in his magic little triangle. He'll spawn a daemon at the back of the arena, two chickens, and an unnecessary amount of harpies. I definitely recommend taking care of the daemon and the two chickens first. And the harpies are annoying, but if you just kill them, they just respawn, so clear them as needed, but they shouldn't necessarily be a priority. After you kill the chickens and the daemon, then the puzzle mechanic will start to spool up once more. The conflux in the middle will open, and then you'll have three confluxes around that, going in and out, different levels, different sequences, and so on. You'll have to shoot these in the sequence of the access code, and you'll find the sequence in the back left and right under a glass floor. It looks like a diamond. I believe the sequence will start on the right. And if you finish that sequence, bring down his shield, do a damage phase, his shield goes back up, it'll switch over to the left. There's no phase limit or time limit. You'll do as many phases going back and forth left and right, continually putting in the access codes and dropping the shield until you bring down the second third of his health. When you're inputting the Axis codes, there's going to be Cyclopses spawning on either side of Brachion, just two, one on each side. 
I use my Quicksilver Grenade function and some pretty good trigonometry to take them out in one blow. Whatever you use, it doesn't really matter as long as you take them out ASAP as one or two shots from them can kill you instantly and then reset the fight. After this phase, you'll go to the last arena and immediately start engaging with Brachion. This phase, there's no immunity and there's a few dozen adds and a lot of explodey boys, but really you shouldn't be holding anything back. Empty your super, your heavy, everything you have, because the sooner he dies, the sooner you're done. The biggest worry is that once you shoot Brachion enough, his head will pop off and he'll get really, really, really aggro. So Strand really shined here, being able to grapple across the map when needed especially putting on the fragment that allows you to reload your gun every time you grapple. If you do it more often, you'll be able to have a few anchor points so you can continuously grapple without expending your grenade, at least for hunters. After you've done the song and dance with Mr. Brachion enough, you should take him down and then you'll get your fancy little stabby boy. You go to the back of the arena, you'll pull it out of thin air, and then it's all yours. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please leave a like and maybe think about subscribing. That's all I have, I'll see you guys in the next one. You're as powerful as you are silent. But could all recognize might, yes.